we are in the Dinaledi chamber. We have just a few minutes to explore before we need to return to the surface. Unfortunately, you didn't get to crawl, climb, and squirm your way through the dark cave to get here. That's one of the fun parts. Behind us is the narrow passage we just came through to get here from the hill antechamber, and you can't see it from here, but we had to squeeze down that nasty 12 meter high fissure called the chute just to get to the antechamber. The first time we scientists came to this spot in Dina Lady, we could see specks of white on the dark brown sediment. They turned out to be bits of bone scattered all across the floor. If you look around, you may see more. Our first job here was to mark each bone with a flag so we could collect them later. Look, there's one of the original orange flags. If you find any new bones, you can mark them with a flag with your controller. We were really interested in the area under the overhanging rock. The excavation unit, this square hole here under the overhanging rock, it doesn't look like much today. But back in 2013, it was filled with sediment and bone. We could just see part of a skull peeking up from below the surface. We collected about 1,500 fossils from this tiny area. The space was dense with bone. It was like playing pickup sticks underground, except we had to do it on our hands and knees and work around each other. Sometimes three of us were excavating this tiny unit at a time. A little like playing science yoga twister for five to seven